was having trouble getting words to come out and I felt like I was choking on them. The doctor told me it was a rare neurological condition that affects the vocal cords, causing spasms which make speech very difficult. I was glad to finally find out the cause of my condition, but very discouraged when he told me there was no cure. I've been living with adductor spasmodic dysphonia for 22 years. And though October is a month also for raising awareness about cancer, we I've had conversations that had comments made that, well, at least you're not fighting cancer, and at least it's not life threatening. But, and for years, I wouldn't say anything about my condition because it wasn't as serious as cancer. But the pain and impact of it is still significant. And even the shame of it. So we've learned to say that it may not be life threatening, but it is life changing. I myself has struggled with voice disorders all my life and it had a great impact on me. So I'm hoping to find a cure soon. Um, thank you. It's a foggy day here in Decatur, Alabama. And just as the fog makes it difficult to see clearly, Spasmodic dysphonia, also known as laryngeal dystonia, makes it difficult to speak clearly. Spasmodic dysphonia is a rare condition that controls the muscles that surround the larynx. So when you speak, the muscle spasms. The muscles, your voice may be very broken, strained, uh, no voice at all, very hoarse. Talking on the phone is very difficult if non-existent. I'm ordering in restaurants um, is very hard and Carrie usually orders for me or I'll point to I want um, <clears throat> also just having communication with people on a general basis so those are the type of things <clears throat> that I'm working so hard for walk for talk and laryngeal dystonia so your donations help find um, either a cure or another treatment for me and I can just hear right now some of my friends going I can't understand a word you're saying that is the point Sadly, Botox doesn't go in my forehead wrinkles. It goes into my throat about every six weeks and it temporarily paralyzes my vocal folds so that uh, words can get out. This is Dr. Michael Rontel. In the 50 years of my laryngeal practice, I have seen this condition of spasmodic dysphonia go from one that was considered to be psychological in origin to one that is now recognized as a neurologic condition. With that has come much better thought out treatment from surgery to Botox and combinations thereof. Approximately 30 years ago, a group from the Detroit area along with others helped to form a National Spasmodic Dysphonia Association, which has given entirely so they support in all forms to those who have this condition, as well as finding and helping to direct research towards a better understanding and better treatment. I hope that you will walk with me, the walk for the talk, and help support in every way this group that has given much to all of us. 
Thank you. My reason for walking is to spread awareness of spasmodic dysphonia and related voice conditions, as well as to raise funds for research that'll go towards better treatment options and ultimately a cure. We walk to raise awareness about spasmodic dysphonia and funds for SD research. To raise awareness of and money for research into spasmodic dysphonia and related voice disorders. Raise a lot of money for this event, walk for a talk, um, to especially support research into finding a cure for this disorder. Awareness to people about spasmodic dysphonia, and hopefully, we will raise money to help them research um, so there. There may be a cure. I'm an area contact person in Muskoka, Ontario. And me and my parents are out for a walk to talk to raise awareness. I have a doctor SD and it's been about five and a half years and we are out to walk, walk for talk. talk. This event is just an uh, incredible uh, activity that involves everyone across our community and this year we have people in more than 40 states and nine countries actually uh, uh, participating in the walk for talk just one last thing i need to do before i walk today i need to sign a waiver releasing the nsda of any responsibility in case something should happen to me while i walk now seriously what could possibly happen We are speech pathologists who specialize in voice in Arizona, and we are supporting Walk for Talk at the top of Camelback Mountain. My thanks and appreciation to everyone participating, whether you are uh, involved in walking, running, biking, whatever activity, uh, we appreciate all of you and certainly appreciate everyone that makes a contribution to help us uh, with our fight to conquer spasmodic dysphonia and related voice conditions. Thank you again for all your support and love. Thanks. I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone who's participated. And I especially want to say thank you to all of you who are interested in learning more about spasmodic dysphonia. It means a lot. Four-legged friends walk the talk. Woohoo! We gotta find a cure.
May I have your attention, please? Freedom of speech ain't easy for everybody, but we all need to reach out to one another. To our sisters and brothers, a new day is dawning, new ways to keep talking. But I don't wish on lucky stars, cause I found that I'm not alone. Finally, I'm building a place to call. Oh.